Welcome back. We have uh, a bit of an update on the Suns 5T build. So, and we've had a parcel come in. Um, to my left here, as you can see, uh, I had to prematurely put the body panel, not so much the body panels, but the body posts, the, the side the side mounts and the wheels and everything, so I can mark out where the body post holes need to be drilled in the body. So, but that's pretty much what you see in there. That's that's how it's going to look. It's a bit it's a bit a bit tricky with it because of the fact of where the rear body posts mount. If you can have a look over here with the camera. You see in the middle here now, that's the rear, the two rear body mounts for the old 5T Baja shell. Now, it's no good having it inside inside this rear part of the body. So I have to work it out so as it can be repositioned somehow or maybe utilize the body post that come with it. So, but pretty much where it's sitting is where it needs to be. So, um, <clears throat> so it lines up with the wheel arches and all the rest of it so but in in saying that what comes with the body like i mentioned in the um the original look at the body now it's got these these are supposedly your fronts right eh? and i don't like the look of it there's a brochure somewhere that comes with the body showing you all of their pro lines different types of bodies and everything else and it's got a picture of this installed on a baja um now what it is actually designed for is to go on a 5B. So you don't have the side mounting points on a 5B buggy, but they supply you with body posts. So these are supposed to be the rears. So I may need to use those for the, for the back end so I can not have any, um, any dramas putting the pins in because it'll be in the right spot. Now these front ones, as you can see, that's how they are. And these two little things, what they're designed to do is they're designed to slip on like that. And the other one goes into there, like that. And then they sit like that. Now, that's not to my liking because, I mean, look how close they are, right? And you're going to have all this extra body hanging out over the side. So one roll over and you're probably going to wind up with a nice crease line down the front of your, front of your bonnet there. So, the other thing is, they're designed to go... Where, where this bar mount comes up into the bulkhead up into here, that's where that slides in. And this slides in the bottom down the front here, the holes in the front brace. So pretty much meaning you're doing away with this whole front bar setup. So, But I don't like the idea of having four, four of these hanging through the bonnet here. It's just going to look so tacky, I reckon. So I won't be using these for the front. I'll use the original Baja mounts for the front. <coughs> And I may have to rig up these ones to go into the back somehow. I don't know. We'll play that as we go along. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at that, see where we're up to with the body. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I've marked out on the outside a bit of graphic sort of outline, which is where it's going to be. So uh, I won't tell you what colours we're going to use yet. You'll see them when we actually start doing the body. But um, there'll be some stuff happening in between all these blue lines. So... That being said, and also, it does come with some instructions on how to install these body posts onto your Baja. So, um, like I said, it's designed for the buggy, the buggy, not so much the truck. So, I'll be using those, I'll be getting rid of those, and I'll be going with my own setup to mount the holes. Haven't decided whether I'm going to drill holes in the side here yet for the side mounts. I, I may do, just to give it a bit more strength in the side. Uh, not that this, this body's pretty pretty rugged as it is, but just for a bit of peace of mind, a bit more strength. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we're at for that. So it does look like it's sort of back together, but it's not. I've only thrown all these bits on so as I can position the body where it needs to be and I can mark and drill me holes before I mask everything up. So it's a lot easier to mark your holes out when your body's clear rather than painting it and then trying to do it. So that's where we're at with this thing. So it sort of give you a bit of an idea on what it might look like towards the end of the build. <clears throat> so that being said, we've had a package turn up. I've got a fair idea what this might be, but let's uh, let's rip her open and have a look. Um, been waiting for this thing to come. So with the Christmas and New Year sort of thing going on, everything, all the posts got a little bit 
delayed. So here we go. Let's see what's in the box. So that's empty. Put that up on the side. I think you might already guess what this is. So let's open her up and have a look inside here. Now, Alright, here we go. What have we got here? Let's get rid of that. Now, spare parts. It's a, I think this is a raven part to be honest. So let's open it. It looks like it might be a raven part. AF. So no, the same model that I get your clutches from. Uh, okay, let's rip this packet open. I think you can already see what it is. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. Look at this. It's me pipe. All right. Have a look at this. Have a look at this beautiful header. Have a look at that. That is nice. Look at the size of the hole in there, guys. This here, on the other hand, I may may get me die grinder and round that hole out just a little bit. Uh, just for a bit more nicer, smoother flowing, but look at the size of that pipe, that is, that's nice. That'll get some nice flow happening straight through there. So that's that. And the mounting hardware, a couple of clamps, bracket, some bolts, and a bit of rubber tube to go around. And of course, the main, main event, have a go at that guys, look at that beautiful thing. Isn't that nice? Nice and shiny. That is real nice. Again, look at the size of the hole in there. Obviously, that's meant for there, right? So there's your tab on the side to mount it to your mount it to your truck or buggy or what have you. Look at that! Look at the size of the hole in there. Real nice. We're going to get some nice flow out of that. So this, guys, is for me cracking side pipe to go on me cracking. So I'm kind of keen to see how this thing's going, how this thing is going to go. That is really, really nice. The pictures don't really do it justice. That's a nice finish. Even the welds, even the welds on it. Really, really nice. I mean, that's beautiful. So I'll put a photo, excuse me, at the end of this video um, of this thing installed. I'm not going to do a video just to put this on. So I'll I'll put a photo at the end of this video, fitted to me cracking, and give you a look and, and see how it looks. So, but anyway, all that aside, that's I've been waiting for that to turn out. That's good. So, that's the first part of the Sun's 5T rebuild. So, um, stick around, guys. There's heaps more coming. Like you can see, I've got to pull this apart again now, and then go right through the chassis because I need the wheel bearings and. All kinds of stuff going on here. Some nice alloy parts, which we went through went through earlier in the last video. Some uh, bulkhead parts. There's some other pieces to go with this for the front, which are still coming. And um, so, yeah, stick around, stay tuned for the 5T build. And also, the, there'll be one video just dedicated to the painting the body of, by itself. So that's coming up. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for, for more, um, more builds, more projects, more updates. And um, like I say every time, get your trucks, get your cars, go outside and have some fun. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.